Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about radical equations, and we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for our extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, x equals the square root of 42 minus x, okay? Well, in doing so, what I need to do is I'm going to square both sides here. So, I'm going to square both sides to eliminate that radical. x squared is on the left equals 42 minus x on the right. Bringing everything over to the left-hand side of x squared minus x, I'm oh, sorry, plus x, right, because I'm adding x here, minus 42 equal to 0. From there, I need to factor what two numbers multiply to be negative 42, but add to be 1, and that's a negative 6 and a positive 7. So I have x minus 6 and x plus 7 is how you factor that. From there, I know that my two solutions are x equals positive 6 and negative 7. We set both those parentheses equal to 0 to solve. So I have 6 and negative 7. I need to check for extraneous solutions. So let's go for it. Let's do x equals 6 first. This is my check. So, oh man, I'm writing off my 6 there. Can't do that. And it looks all right. So we have uh, x equals the square root of 42 minus x. I'm going to plug 6 in for both my x's. Man, I can't write any of these numbers here. 42 minus 6. Well, 42 minus 6 is 36. So I have 6 equals the square root of 36. Looking promising, square root of 36 is 6. Oh, a lot of 6s here. So 6 does equal 6. That is a true statement. Fantastic. x equals 6 is a real solution. Let's go try x equals negative 7. So x equals negative 7 here. So x equals uh, square root of 42 minus x. Let's plug negative 7 in. So negative 7 goes in. I have 42 minus a negative 7. Well, 42 minus a negative 7 is like adding a positive 7, right? Positive 7. So that ends up being negative 7 equals a square root of 49. Square root of 49 mm, kind of looks promising, but not really because we have negative 7 equals a positive 7. That is not a true solution. That is extraneous. And so our only real answer here is x equals positive 6. Okay? So let's recap. We, get, we started with x equals the square root of 42 minus x. I squared both sides to eliminate that radical. From there, I brought everything over. I had x squared plus x minus 42 equals 0. Got everything to one side. Then I factored. In factoring, I got x minus 6 times x plus 7 equals 0. Then I have my two answers, 6 and negative 7. I had to check for my extraneous solutions. Plug 6 in. And uh, to my original equation, and in doing so, when I plug in both x's, I ended up with 6 equal to 6. True statement. Fantastic. 6 is a real answer. But when I plugged in negative 7 and did the same thing, the other solution I got, when I simplified it, I had negative 7 equals a positive 7. Be careful. A lot of students want to just eliminate that negative. You can't. Negative 7 and positive 7 are not equal. So that is, a, that is an extraneous solution. So negative 7 is an extraneous solution. Positive 6 is a real solution, so the only one I care about for this problem is my final answer, which is x equals 6.